but it did look a bit empty without it there before. So it's not, you know, it's not amazing. But it's not meant to be amazing. It does fill in kind of a gap which was here before. Which is really the point of this. Alright, so now we need a lot of planks. Let me just put the... Let me just put planks in there. If I can... Do that, and... Okay, I really can't see. I mean, I can't jump on top of it, because... Actually, I can jump on top of it here, I guess. Right, let's do that. So... Slabs... Are kind of like there. And then planks up here. Right. And you see, you notice how... We've kind of cut out into the top of this mountain bit here. So... It's a little bit strange. But uh, I'm, I'm okay with it. I don't think it's a big problem. We will need torches on top of this. Won't we? Yeah, we will. Uh, more planks. I need more logs, right, in between. Yeah, I do. Just underneath here. Okay, so there's that. Wow, lag spike. Please don't do this. Come on. Ah, uh, lag spike. Alright, are we back? Good. Uh... Okay, that works. Yep, that works. Alright, back down. And we need logs on the ceiling. Let's put some... oh, there's glowstone here. Not for much longer though. Let's put some torches down so zombies don't spawn in here. Um, right. I can actually reach all the way up there, it's amazing. I need more... oh, I got planks, okay. Oops. Like that plank there, above the log, we're not going to see because it's you know underneath the mountain and above the log. So that can be anything really, it can be dirt. But let's just keep it planks because planks are cheap anyway. Oops. What we don't want to do is to leave a gap there and then have spiders spawn in and make noises all night. Alright, so we need more logs. Like there, that's good. And logs like there. Hmm. The internal wall is going to be a little bit strange, isn't it? Let me just uh, put that in and then consider the internal walls. The internal walls can be wool. I keep trying to come up with reasons to use more wool. Because we're trying to make this fancy, right? Um... Hmm... D 
the interior walls should not be cobble. I'm thinking. Can be wood. Can be a different colour wood. Can be wool. Wool's a little bit strange. Let's use a different colour wood for the internal walls. Right? Right, let's do that. Okay, let's use the light wood. I kinda like that. Oh also let's let's figure out what color wool we want to have. Oh wait a minute. This should also be stone brick, right? Yep. What color wool do we want to have on the floor? I mean I want a light color, but then there's there's white and there's grey and there's pink. And there's not it's not really any neutral and there's light blue. I don't want to use light blue again though. So I want a light colour on the floor, but there's no real good... Is there a light brown? I know there's a dark brown. Is there a light brown? I don't even know. I want to check my sheep. So, we're gonna need some... What colour should the bedroom be? I guess I'm just gonna make it the same colour. Although light brown, I mean, we've got to already have the timber, don't we? So it's gonna be light brown again, that's probably not good. An actual colour? Light green? Light green or pink? I don't want pink. Light green? It's that lime green though, isn't it? It's just, I don't know, like the colours are not... Like all the colours are so... bright. So cartoonish, all the colours. And uh, glowstone. Where should we put the glowstone? Alright, let me just get put some walls in first. We can think about the... Oh wait, planks. Um, we'll put in the walls first, and then we can think about the colors as we do that. All right, so that should be like that. That there, and that there, and there. I don't know if I should... No, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it like this, okay. This color walls? Yeah, I, I, I like this. I also want to improve the staircases. At the moment, they're kind of awkward. Um, stone bricks... Oh, I need planks. Is that all the planks I have left? Oh good, I used them all. That's... good. Um, where's my... oh, there. And that. And that should be more than enough. What am I doing? That. Right. Stone and stone, which we don't need anymore. Let me just step back and look at this again. So it's not anything amazing there. I think that's fine though. It does look better because it, it looked like something was missing there before. Now it looks like the whole thing is built up to that level. So there's, you know, there's the ground floor and the second or the first, depending on what part of the world you're in. So there's two floors above the ground floor. And now it seems like it's correct because it's all lined up. Whereas before it seems like it was a little bit awkward. It seems a little too low on this side. There's only two stories here and then there's three stories up there. So I think that looks better now. There's actually a fourth story there, but we can't really see it from down here, so we, it doesn't really matter. Alright, let's let's have a look at this. I can put the doors in as well. I'm just wanna Alright, so here we have a wall. I guess it should go all the way to the ceiling. Right, the kitchen can be open. Here we have 
the wall is there. Again, all the way to the ceiling. Wow. And then here... That's the bedroom. So then there's going to be a door there. A door there. Alright, I guess that's that. Hmm. Interesting. So one, two, three, four bits of glowstone on each side, I think, is enough to light the whole thing. Uh, hmm. In fact, let me just count this. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, but then if uh, there's a little glowstone here, yeah, actually three bits of glowstone on each side is enough. Alright, so let's just keep that in mind. Fine. So let's just make one, two, three, four, five, six doors. And then consider what color walls we want, and then we grab six glowstone from the base. Alright, put that back, put those back, and might need that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, right. So the doors can go on the inside. The door can go... Wait a minute. Shouldn't that be stone... Actually, no. There we go. So we got that. I'm just trying to decide which side the door should be on. I guess on the inside. Put the torch back. And here... There we go. So these are our proper apartments. Although they're not, they're still not, you know, extravagant. They are substantially more luxurious than just the single rooms in all the other... Oh, I need one more door there. Wow. And... No, on the inside. Okay. Here we go. Okay, now for the wool, how much wool do I actually need? So six, and this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six by five is thirty, thirty-six, seventy-two bits of wool. Seventy-two bits of wool for the two rooms, and six glowstone. All right, let's go back to base and grab that stuff. 72. And we have to decide what color wool we want as well. So things are, are coming together. I don't have too much to say really. I mean, we're just building more and more rooms. Although they're getting, you know, more luxurious with every phase that we, we build, which is the point, right? Like the, 
if you remember, the monastery is getting richer and richer over time. More and more people join, they accumulate more wealth over time. So that's the story, and that's why the things change over time. But the functions haven't really changed. I mean, it's still just rooms, basically. I mean, there's a library, and there's like a there's the refectory, but that's you know you obviously have to eat, right? So functionally, not too interesting. And you can also observe what has happened because the sheep can walk out of the enclosures. This happened. This. I don't know why they all... So there's the sheep farm, if if the map can load. There's still some sheep left. But uh, more than half of them have walked out. I've been breeding cows for leather as well. I think the leather is, is unbalanced now, in the sense that... Like, breeding cows takes a bit of time. I mean, it took me quite a few hours to get two stacks of leather. And I mean, leather armor is supposed to be less useful than iron armor. Although you can dye them, so if you care about you know, what color you look, then uh, maybe that's important for a fashion statement. But aside from that, it feels like it's actually easier to get iron than it is to get leather. At least in the late game. I guess in the early game, you just kill the cows that spawn when you first generate the map. So it's, it's easy to get at the beginning. But after a while, it gets more difficult, or more not not difficult, but more time-consuming to get the leather. I feel like each cow should drop more leather because if you consider it takes one leather to make a book, and you know how I don't know how much leather it takes to make a whole set of armor. It takes quite a bit of leather to do anything. So I'm thinking maybe again considering how long it takes to breed cows. You know, you have to give them wheat and then they have to grow up and all that. I'm thinking the balance is off and that maybe the, the each cow should drop more leather. Just so that the leather is slightly easier to get. And then it makes more sense. There's no good colors for carpet. I mean, I can use grey, but we already have stone and cobblestone. I mean, that's Although this grey is slightly blue, isn't it? Look at that. Compared to the actual grey. Or is that just the lighting? That looks slightly blue, but this doesn't. Am I tripping out? The torch makes that much difference? Look at that. That looks slightly red. That looks slightly blue. Do you see that? Maybe you won't see it in the YouTube video, because when you compress the videos, the colours change. Anyway, I don't want grey, because I already have a lot of grey there in the stone.